I think unlearning is a really helpful word here in terms of describing what's at stake in okay. conversion, right? It involves a certain sort of unlearning of the wisdom of the world, right? Where the world tells us that what happiness involves is successfully reshaping the world into what you wanted it to be, right? You reshape yourself into the image that you would like. You reshape your friends and family into who you want them to be. You get your life to follow just the story uh, that you would like it to follow. Uh, and that if you can do that, then that's what happiness looks like. And the gospel instead it involves a willingness to surrender my attachment to forcing the world to be what I want it to be, and instead here, a willingness to receive instead the gifts and graces and goodness that God is always already giving in the creation of the world itself, trusting Him in His plan instead of trying to force the world to be what I want it to be. And Adam is echoing exactly what Paul is going to do through verses 20 through 32 here in Romans chapter 1 is Paul is actually going to say that God's creation is being subverted by the pride of man. And so all these things that God has created and given, mankind has come in and said, no, I'm going to alter it in the image that I want it to be rather than the image God intended it to be. So